I think we have to make the argument that uh, the point of the refugee program is that uh, it advances our interests and it advances um, basic um, fundamental tenets of the American dream. Uh, we ought to go out there and defend it. And I think mm -hmm. if we do that, we'll hold, we'll hold our own. I think that we should make the arguments, period. And I yeah. think the uh, people should choose which argument uh, they feel most uh, profoundly. And I think you're going to be surprised at the fact that these arguments have particular salience. I, I raised the one about the really alarmingly low level of admissions granted to um, – refugees uh, from the Christian refugees from mm -hmm. the Middle East, just because I think it's directly responsive to the question that you started with, right. which is that uh, evangelical Christians um, support the general restricted policy. I think they probably do until they hear more about what that restricted policy means. Mm -hmm. That's point one. Mm -hmm. There's a second then bigger set of arguments, I think, around questions of what the data of this program over time has meant. Um, it, in fact, there is no evidence that it's meant an increase in terrorism. There's no evidence, uh, that it's meant an, an increase in crime. Uh, and in fact, I think it's, there's a lot of evidence to show that it's meant an increase in opportunity, economic mm -hmm. opportunity. Mm -hmm. So I think we just got to use the data and make the arguments.